guys. I just thought I would sit down and throw some makeup on with you guys. Um, I've been wanting to do more videos. I just not really sure what to do right now. Kind of in a funk when it comes to what kind of videos I want to do. So I figured we could just throw on some makeup and go from there. Ugh. I really need to pluck my eyebrows. I just really hate doing that. But it needs to be done. Alright, I'm just going to do simple eye look. My Reveal 2 palette. Nothing fancy. I'm so not used to holding a mirror when putting makeup on, so this is a whole new thing for me. So how are you guys doing? I, uh, I am holding up pretty well, I would say, um, you know, Tuesday, again, it was the anniversary of my dad's dad, my dad's passing, um, but I still haven't broken down or cried or anything, and I almost feel like I, I should, but I haven't yet. I don't know. I I guess maybe I'm just, I've come to terms with it. And I know that he's no longer suffering and in pain. So maybe that's why I'm okay. It still makes me feel guilty though. Like that I'm not upset. I don't know if it makes sense, but... I know my dad wouldn't want me to sit around and be upset, but I do really miss him. It sucks not being able to talk to him every day. This is probably like uneven, but I'm not too worried about it right now. I'm not going anywhere. I just thought I'd throw some makeup on for the heck of it. Let's see. So I was thinking of doing like an official what's in my purse video with my new purse that I got. I know I technically did it in my little chatty video, but um on one of my older What's in My Purse videos, um, I had a subscriber ask me if I had a new purse, and uh, I guess wondering if I was going to do like another What's in My Purse video, and I told her I did do it in my chatty video. I don't know if she went and watched it or not, so I figured I could just do a What's in My Purse video, even though I did kind of technically just do one. Um, I mean, let me know if you guys want to see it. I mean, I may just end up doing it after this video anyway. Um, I mean, for one, it'll give me something to do. And I feel like I should do an official What's in My Purse video since the other one was just kind of like a chatty, random rambles video. And then I went through my purse just because, I don't know, it gave me something to kind of talk about. But I know, like, not everybody watches all of my videos anyway, so some people may not have even seen that. But if you did see it, and you don't want to see a What's in My Purse video, I'm sorry, you don't have to watch it. I just figured I should do it for the people that, like, didn't watch that specific video. But my mom just left, um to go out of town again. Um, she just left probably an hour ago. I always hate when she leaves because 
I don't know. I just, especially after my dad's passing, I just, I like being close to her just because you never know, like, if anything's ever going to happen and whatever. So, I just like her being close and, yeah, I definitely need to pluck these brows. They are looking crazy. Um, I did already wet my sponge, so I don't have to go and do that. <sighs> I really want to start popping some more videos off. Um, I really need you guys to give me ideas of what you want to see. Um... You know, I can come up with ideas, no problem. I mean, I am kind of like in a rut right now where I can't really think of what kind of videos to do. But, um, you know, you guys should definitely sound off in the comments, you know, or whatever. Whatever kind of videos you want to see so that I have ideas of what, you know, what you guys want. I don't want to continuously do like the same kind of videos all the time. Um... You know, and then you guys get bored. Like, just, you know, let me know, like, what you want to see, and I can try and make that happen for you. Like I said, I don't have much makeup here right now because most of it I already took home. But, I mean, I, uh, I mean, I do still have some makeup here, obviously. Like, the stuff I typically reach for when I do decide to do my makeup. Um, but... I don't know, I can, I can figure out ways to make it work if you want to see like a specific look or anything. Again, you guys know I'm not good at doing makeup, so I don't know why you'd want to see me do that. Maybe just for shits and giggles, but I'm so not good at holding a mirror while trying to do this. And I am not left-handed, so this was not easy. Oh, I got a little hair right there. All right. like at a loss for what to even talk about right now. I seriously love this e.l.f. concealer. It is so, so nice. I'm so glad they came out with a hydrating one. Just because, I mean, the other one, again, it was a little too dark for me. But it wasn't a hydrating concealer, so I felt like it was a little too drying on my skin. So them coming out with a hydrating one was such a good idea. So, I mentioned in my other video how I want to start kind of working out and um, just kind of like getting healthier and stuff like that. So, I did order this like workout planner style book off of eBay. So, once that gets here and a couple of other things arrive, I'm going to start trying to do some sort of workout routine at home. Um, I'm going to start slow. I'm not going to push myself too hard at first, but I do want to push myself and like make myself stick to this because I want to be happy with my body and be happy and confident with how I look. Um, I'm going to try and document as much as I can. I don't have the prettiest space to 
to do that. But I mean, I'll do what I can for you guys. I want to take you on the journey with me. Hopefully we can see some kind of results and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. That stuff will be coming soon. Does look like like no blush is coming off. It is, but it's like not. You need to get enough on there. I just always go crazy with blush, not on purpose. It just kind of happens. And you can definitely see it on camera. I'm gonna have to diffuse that a little bit. I'm actually using the Ciate London Marbled Light Halo um, blush I think I got in a BoxyCharm. Definitely didn't come from Ipsy. I really like this blush. I just, I hate that, like, I'm so heavy-handed with blush. I also really need to clean my brushes again really soon. It's been a little while since I've done that. I don't know if you guys want to see me do that or what, but I do need to make that happen. Like, it feels so weird knowing my mom's not here right now. Like, um, she always, like, goes out of town, like, to help out her friend. Like, um, while her friend goes off to work, she, like, house sits and watches the dog and stuff like, stuff like that. And, um, so I'm, I'm used to it. I'm just, like, it's like I finally got her back and now she's gone again. And especially during this time now where, like, this house is going to be so like it's like the worst time for her to leave so like I really hated that she had to go um like I wish she could have just stayed for a little while longer until the house thing here was settled and situated and now I kind of feel like I'm the one that has to deal with everything not like in a negative way but like you know um like I gotta make sure I'm here like when my aunt and my grandma come by so that like I can make sure the garage door isn't all locked up to where they can't get in the house. And um, I just, I don't want to like be in the way when they're trying to get stuff cleaned up. Like I don't want Alden to be in the way. Um, and Jeremy starts work soon, so he's not going to be able to come rescue us. I'm going to have to like have my mother-in-law come pick us up on certain days and be like, you guys get your cleaning done, I'll come back when you're done, um, and whatnot, because, you know, I, I want to stay here as long as I can, um, you know, I still have a lot of cleaning and, and going through stuff to do anyway, um, I mean, there's so much to go through, it's not even funny, um, I'll kind of walk you guys through it, not like a whole lot, I'm not going to go into depth and show you like every single thing, but um, I'll show you kind of like what there is that I got to deal with. Um, I've got so much junk from my school days, I think going back to grade school, middle school, high school, that I'm probably just going to end up tossing, but I also have to go through my old bedroom upstairs, but a lot of what's in that bedroom is also my grandma's because once I moved out she kind of like took that room over and she would store stuff in there but like I have to clean out my entire closet because everything in the closet's mine my old dresser I have to clean out I've got a lot of stuff to clean out which is why it's taking so long but I'm also like I'm not rushing it but I am trying to get it done so that you know I don't want them thinking I'm not doing anything, I'm not getting anything done, because I am, I'm just, I'm not going at a super fast pace, like, because I want to be able to make sure I'm not just throwing stuff 
a way that like would mean something to me. You know, I, I'm taking my time to actually kind of look at what I'm getting rid of before I'm getting rid of it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like I, I'm trying to get it done, but I don't want to just completely rush through and, you know, there might be stuff from my dad's house um, or something from my dad that was to me that, you know, if I accidentally got rid of that, I'd be a bit really upset. So I want to have time to sit and look at stuff, which is why, like, when my son sleeps at night, that's the best time for me to get stuff done. I don't get much done during the day, but when he's asleep for the night and I know I have all these hours, I'm up late anyway. That's when I try to get what I can done. Ugh. I don't know how people do this without like batting an eyelash. Ugh. Goodness. It always like makes my eyes water. I have a feeling this Thrive Cosmetics mascara is pretty much empty. I am going to try and put some on my eyes today still, but I might have to go in with my e.l.f. mascara because I know that little sample size is pretty much empty at this point, which makes me really sad because the full size is pretty pricey, but... My next makeup purchase is going to be that mascara. Unless my fiance wants to get it for me for my birthday. Um, let's see. I'll do my eyeliner. I can't, I can't hold this and do eyeliner. I'm the kind of person I cannot just like put eyeliner on like I have to hold my eye down to put eyeliner on I don't know how people can just go in like this and do it I just can't something that close to my eye I don't know it just it it freaks me out all right let's try and put some thrive on My god, I love this mascara so freaking much. Ugh. I don't even feel the need to curl my lashes when using this mascara. That's how good it is.
Yeah, I'm like, I don't really have much left in here. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this mascara. I do really like this e.l.f. mascara, but nothing beats my Thrive Cosmetics. eyebrows. I think the thing I hate doing most are my eyebrows. Not that it's hard to do, I just hate doing them. <laughs> you know what? I really need to pluck these, so um, give me just one moment. I'm back. Alright, let's try this. Don't worry, I'm going to fix it. I did my face of makeup. It took apparently 23 minutes to do, which is crazy. So yeah. I don't think I'm going to put a lippy on right now. Um, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I don't really need to sit here and look pretty. For any particular reason, I just felt like doing my makeup, so there is that. Um, maybe I'll do a What's in My Purse video. I mean, why not, right? If you guys don't like it, you don't gotta watch it. But um, I did have somebody asking about it. She was like, did you get a new purse? You know, and because I'm pretty sure at this point, since she's seen my videos, she knows that I get new purses quite often. And I mean, that is, that's kind of my thing, guys. Um, I will do a lot of purse videos on my channel, and some people may like it, some people may not like it, but I love purses, I love switching purses, I love buying purses, so, you know, I think my main thing on here is purse videos, whether it's me switching purses, showing you my new purse, seeing what's in my purse. I just, that's like my favorite thing to do. So I'm going to clean up all of my makeup here, and then... I guess I'll do a what's in my purse video. So whether I upload this or not, I'm not sure. It's probably not even that interesting. I literally sat here doing my makeup, barely had anything to talk about, but maybe I can just like speed through a lot of this and then vlog a little bit later and then just have kind of like a do my makeup with me slash vlog video. I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys here very shortly.
Guys, right now I'm just making dinner for my kid. He wanted mac and cheese, so really simple, easy dinner tonight. I'm also baking some cookies in the little toaster oven right now. So we're just going to have a little relaxing night, I think. He's going to eat soon, and then we're going to play for a while, and then probably around 9 or so I'm going to try and get him to go to bed. Um, here he is. He just got out of the bath, so he's all clean. And he's flossing. Little dancer. So, yeah, that's all we're doing so far. I just thought I'd update you guys and we'll go from here. This takes forever for the damn pot of water to boil. Just waiting on that. Got some cookies in there. Pretty excited what I have to work on which is really hard to get to until my kid sleeps because he always wants to get into everything this box right here and then this clear tub right over here I have to go through and then some stuff in between and then there's stuff underneath the shelf also that needs to be taken care of this old TV this old TV needs to get tossed somewhere you can see those VCRs right over there I don't know what to do with those and my room upstairs that I have to go through as well. Um, it's a lot of stuff to go through. Like a lot. So it's uh, going to take some time because I got to go through all of that box, see what like my kid might want, and then throw most of it away, go through that tub, see what's under there. I'm sure a lot of it's probably my brother's stuff though, but regardless it's gonna have to get tossed so that's what I'm working with the messy mirror but I just wanted to show you guys look at this like little strap thing that I got um, it's like almost better than a pop socket you put it on like a pop socket and it's just like this stretchy band and it's almost more comfortable to hold your phone like this than to do the pop socket way if that makes any sense and it's less bulky like Oh, okay, I can't show you. <laughs> but obviously, like, you can slide this in your back pocket easier um, without having the bulkiness of the pop socket. I love this. It was so super cheap on eBay, too. So if I remember, I will link it down below. They have all different colors. I actually want to get more colors because I have so many different phone cases. And, like, I love pop sockets. I really do. And I love the different designs. But this is where it's at. It's so much more comfortable to hold. I freaking love it my kid to bed. It is a little after nine o'clock right now. Not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. Um, I could, I could start going through some of that stuff I showed you guys in that back room. Um, what I should do is pull out that main big box I showed you and just bring it out to the main area down here so I can like watch TV while I do it or something. Um, that way I'm not just like in that back room. Plus if my kid like wakes up or he's looking for me, like I wouldn't be in that back room. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what I should do. Um, I am sitting on the toilet, but I'm not, not going to the bathroom. <laughs> just in case you guys are like that, I've seen that background before, but no, I'm just, I'm just sitting. I'm trying to think of what all I can do tonight. I thought I could vlog a little bit, even though my life is so not exciting. Um, I don't know. I wish I knew what you guys wanted to see. Um, maybe I'll do that, though. Maybe I'll go grab that box. Hopefully it's not too heavy. Bring it out to the main part of the living room. Well, basement, not living room. And go through it, and maybe I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I find, if it's anything interesting or whatever, and let you know how my cleaning's going interesting but I did find some original Lisa Frank stationery which is pretty darn cool um it says it was clearanced out to a dollar oh six I don't know if there's a a date anywhere on this but I thought that was pretty cool to find I found these earrings that must have been my sister's I actually really like these. They're very, like, 80s and 90s, but I could only find the one. But, I mean, I guess I could always pull off the one earring look, like, where two different earrings or something. I don't know. That sounds silly, but 
I really like this one. I wish I could have found the other one. This one is just kind of weird, but I don't know if she ever actually wore these or not. Just like a little wooden cat bundled up for the winter. Um, and I found an original Lip Smackers. Like, let's see if it has a date on it. It's like so faded, but let me see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty gross in there. And it smells super old, as you know, it is. But, I mean, I was finding some OG uh, 90s stuff. I did find this uh, Crest Bowl old neon um, keychain from a bowling alley that we used to always go to when we were kids. I might actually add this to my keychains um, because, I mean, I like it. I like how neon and, like, big it is. And then I just found this old, like, library card from getting books in the library. I might use this as a bookmark. I just, I liked how it's, like, stamped 2002 and stuff like that. So I didn't really find anything interesting, but it is what it is. I went through that one entire box of stuff. The majority of it's trash. I am saving, like... A folder or two of things from school just to kind of look back on and like I do want to homeschool my kids so I could always go back and look at my stuff. Now my stuff's not always a great example because I did get a lot of uh, D's and F's in certain things, mostly math and mostly in certain subjects that I just didn't apply myself. I, I, I like to consider myself smart but in school, I hated school so much, I just didn't apply myself, I didn't care, I didn't want to be there, so I just didn't put the effort in. Um, I never studied, I never, I barely did my homework, I don't even know how I lasted as long as I did in school, but that's ultimately why I dropped out in 2007. I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I hated it. I was never bullied. It was never anything like that. I just, I really hated school. And so I just said I was done with it. And I thought my dad was going to murder me. The time I saw him after I had dropped out, I hadn't seen him for a while. I hadn't told him that I dropped out, but I guess my mom told him. And he came over and he just had this look on his face like he wanted to murder me. And I was so scared. And he was just like... So I heard you dropped out of school. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, why? And I was like, I hated school. Like, I never liked going to school. I mean, even you, as it, like, told me when you were a kid, if you could have dropped out, you would have. But you said your parents would beat your ass. And, I mean, I knew he wouldn't, like, beat my ass or anything. But back, like, in his day, you know, his parents probably would have tried to, like, whoop them into shape to make them stay in school or something, but I just didn't want to be in school, and I mean, that was kind of the end of the conversation. He was like, so you dropped out? And I was like, yeah, and he was just like, whatever. I mean, it's not like they could force me to go back. I don't know how I got on that subject, but there was just a lot of, like, school papers in there. Um, apparently, I stole an old health book I never gave back to the school. I'm just going to get rid of that. I would give it to Salvation Army, but me and my friend wrote in, like, the cover of it, and I don't, I don't know, I'd rather it not go to Salvation Army with that in there, um, but I try and give as much to Goodwill or Salvation Army as possible, um, like, clothing-wise, toy-wise, that, like, I know my son won't want, um, I don't know. Now I'm just kind of watching One Tree Hill and chilling, and I guess I should take my makeup off in a little bit. I can do a nighttime routine, but I feel like I recently just did that, and you guys could really care less to see that, but it's just kind of how my night's going, and I could vlog it. I could not. I don't know. Um, yeah. <sighs> I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 10-something. So, I guess I'll relax for a little while tonight. Um, I don't know if I have any other videos I could make, aside from, like, vlogging. Um, yeah. Oh. Give me one second. I'll be right back.
I mentioned before that my friend Gina sent me a package of Rodan and Fields skincare goodies. She sent me a lot of samples and she really wants me to join her team. I am very much thinking about doing it. Um, now it's, again, it's not like Avon or Mary Kay or anything like that. I mean, you are like trying to promote and sell products, but they're actually like scientifically proven to work, clinically proven to work for your skin and with your skin. And it's products that I feel like I could truly believe in. Like I tried selling Avon. I didn't believe in Avon's products. I was just trying to bring in like extra money. You know what I mean? Like, and I didn't really even make much money off of Avon. Avon has some good products. I'm not like dissing Avon, but like for the most part, it's, it's crap. And now Rodan and Fields, they do charge a pretty penny for the products, but I feel like that's because they actually work and do their job. And just from testing out the few things that she sent me, I fell in love with them. And I really want that microdermabrasion paste. It's really pricey, but I feel like it's so worth it. And it comes in like this little jar and I feel like it would last you so long. Like you're not going to go through that entire jar in like a week or anything or even a month. It'll last months, I think. So for the price, I feel like it's worth it. Now my question to you guys is if I do start to be like a representative for Rodan and Fields, are any of you interested in that at all? Because I would definitely be talking about it a lot on my channel. Definitely like promoting it. Um... Now, I'm not trying to sell you guys anything whatsoever. I just want to talk about the products. Like, I want to test out the products myself, like all the different products that they have that I can test out, and I want to talk about them and let you know, like, the actual results that I see and that I, you know, can feel are working and stuff. I just like, I want to let you guys know like what's good out there. And if this stuff is really good, I want to let you know that way, if you really want to invest in skincare, which is a good thing to do, like if you really want to take care of your skin, investing in skincare is a very good thing. Um, I mean, I talk about how my Misha toner is $14 and that's expensive to me. That is expensive to me, but that's just because I'm a stay at home mom and I don't make money myself, you know? Um, but Rodan and Fields, their stuff is definitely pricey, but I don't know if any of you would be interested in at least learning more about it. I would gladly like to talk more about it. I'm going to learn a lot more about it myself. I'm going to read the pamphlet that she sent me. I'm going to try the rest of the samples that she sent me. Um, I really want to try the Radiance cream or I forgot what it's called it's not a foundation but it's like a foundation in a way it's it's like putting a filter on your face you know it's like you know how you put filters on on like Instagram or like Snapchat to make your face look flawless it's kind of a product like that so it's not really makeup it's more of a skincare product but it's like a foundation. <laughs> I don't want to say that and like make Gina mad because she was like, don't, don't call it makeup around me. So, um, but I'm learning. I'm, I'm trying to learn as much as I can about it. I just need to come up with the money to become a representative. And I want to be able to get one of the kits. That way I have products on hand to actually like test out and try. It's just really, really, really pricey to start up. Um, so I'm really hoping that I can make that happen this year because it's something I feel like I can believe in and I don't think Gina would steer me in the wrong way whatsoever. I feel like I truly believe in her. She is one of the kindest and nicest people I have ever met. I met her through Sean Sergeant Whitey, the guy that sent me and my dad coins, um, that he had made himself with his own logo on it, um. Gina is his girlfriend, and so I met her through him, and they're seriously both the nicest people. Like, I want to meet them in person so bad. They live in North Carolina. I live so far away from North Carolina, but I do want to visit North Carolina one day because, you know, One Tree Hill was filmed there, so I totally want to visit One Tree Hill, like, 
you know, all the sites that One Tree Hill had filmed um, in it. But um, it'd be so cool to, like, get to know them in person and maybe metal detect with Sean and then talk about all the skincare and stuff with Gina and learn more from somebody who I would consider an expert because she knows so much about this stuff. And she so believes in it. And I so believe in her that I feel like I could do well as a representative for this company. You know, like I said, it's not like Avon. It's not like Mary Kay. And I'm not putting down those companies whatsoever. I did sell Avon. I just, I feel like... Brodian and Fields is quality stuff. That's why it's so pricey. But again, anybody will tell you, like, if you're going to invest in anything, invest in your skincare. That way you're taking care of your skin for the rest of your life. You know, um, instead of investing in expensive makeup, invest in less expensive makeup and more expensive skincare because that's what matters. Skincare is what matters. Um, I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. I just, if you guys are interested in learning more about it with me, let me know and I will talk about it more. Um, or have you heard of Rodian and Fields? They're actually, okay. So I think if I'm getting this right, they're the actual company that created proactive and proactive has been such a popular, like, product for so many people with acne prone skin. I've never used proactive because I've never been prone to acne, but my sister swears by it. Millions of people swear by proactive. Rodan and Fields are the people behind proactive. So knowing how good proactive works, if you use it, if somebody you know uses it and they swear by it, you will love Rodan and Fields because they're the people behind proactive. I mean, it, it can't get better than that. So they're just lesser known. But I feel like one of these days where Dan and Fields is going to be more well-known like Proactive is. And I want to get in on that. And I, want, I want to try selling products that I do believe in and that I do believe actually work and help women feel confident and, you know, beautiful in their skin. And I feel like every woman deserves to feel that way. And, you know, I'm going on 30 and I really want to make sure I'm taking care of my skin because as much as I hate looking 12, I don't mind looking so young, especially as I'm getting older. You know, it just, I, you know, I want to keep my youthful appearance. Okay. So Um, I'm going on a rant about this. I just, I found my package from her. I thought I took it home already and I didn't. I have my samples here. I'm going to test more of them out tonight. I'm going to read through the pamphlet, learn more about the company, look it up online, go through and make a wish list of everything that I actually want to buy myself and try when I have the money. Again, pricey products, guys. They're pricey. But if you want to invest in good skincare, invest in Rodan and Fields. And I can send you to an amazing person. Her name is Gina. You could totally go through her. She would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. She's a good friend of mine, even though I haven't met her in person yet. But I believe in her and I believe in these products. And I want to represent this company at some point in time. So I'm going to stop rambling and put some more One Tree Hill on and chill out and read some of the Rodan and Fields pamphlet, and I will talk to you guys in a little while. Take all of my makeup off, and then this is what I'm going to test. It is called the Radiant Defense Perfecting Liquid. So I have all the samples here. I'm going to try the lightest shade, which is this one, and it's in the shade Shell. Uh, Obviously, it's not like much of a sample, but I'm just going to take my makeup off and then see how it looks on my skin. I totally get why they do, um, like, sample sizes like this, especially when they have, like, all different shades and stuff. That way, like, I don't know, they're not wasting product and whatnot, but I feel, I just, I wish when it came to samples of, not that this is a foundation, 
let's samples of something like a foundation or something like this. Like, I wish they gave you enough to put on your entire face. Just that way you can, like, really, truly see how it looks all over your face. But who knows? Maybe this little bit will go a long way. Um, okay, so let me get show. I'm so excited right now. Let me kind of pat my face dry a little bit from that. Uh, make a wipe. Uh, what is this, adult proof? You can't open it. Good God. That is a barrier. Okay. So I got my little sample open. Yeah, the shade matches me perfectly. Holy crap. Look at the side. And look at this side. It's literally like I put a filter on my face. Like, I'm not ashamed of my freckles or anything, but like, holy crap. Don't mind how my nose looks right now. I'm used to like using a a sponge to apply this type of product. Wow. I guess this is enough to actually apply to your whole face. It just doesn't seem like it because it's like in such a teeny tiny little package. Oh my god. This is beautiful. kind of clinging on to my dry patches up here, but that's just, I mean, that's just my psoriasis for you. You gotta match my eyelids to my face, otherwise I'll look like a weirdo. Oh my god. Who needs foundation now? Seriously, this is beautiful. And it is so lightweight, unlike a foundation. Now, I'm not dissing foundations. I love, especially like my CoverGirl foundation, I love foundation. But this is something that I would literally, even when I don't feel like wearing makeup at all, I know it's not makeup. I'm sorry, Gina. It's not makeup. But when I really don't feel like wearing makeup, I could just put this on, throw on some mascara, and I would feel put together. Because this is so beautiful, I don't need to throw on a foundation. This, like, oh my god. I may not have applied it super evenly, so don't mind how it looks around my nose, but... Wow. Wow. I'm blown away. And the, the shell shade, like, really, truly matches me perfectly. Um, I almost thought I might need beige, where it says beige, too. But then I was like, uh, I don't know, it's a little too dark for me. Maybe in the summertime, but I also don't like the sun, so I don't really get tan. <laughs> but, um, all right, guys, that was me testing out the sample of the Rodan and Fields Radiant Defense Perfecting Liquid. Um, so it says, 
With SPF 30 helps to repair the moisture barrier and defend skin while the natural looking shades flawlessly perfect and color correct. A proprietary complex with antioxidants help boost skin's ability to defend itself from free radicals caused by environmental aggressors. Plus, this multitasking final step to your skincare routine immediately blurs imperfections without clogging pores. You'll experience skin so fresh and radiant, makeup is optional. Yeah, makeup is optional. Like, literally, I need a bottle of this stuff because 10 to 1, like, on most days, I'm a mom. I don't feel like waking up and throwing makeup on my face. So what I would love to do in the morning, throw this on my face to make my face look flawless and amazing with literally just this. No primers, no nothing. No concealer, just this, and then some mascara. And it's like, you're ready to go. Like, move over, Beyonce. Mama is back, you know? Like, that's how I feel right now. Um, and, and then it says, see how it pairs perfectly with all Rodan and Fields regimens to redefine, reverse, soothe, and unblemish. Those are, like, all the different categories of stuff to check out. Oh my god! Okay, so now I gotta write Gina a message telling her that I tried this out, and I gotta somehow send this video to her so that she can see, like, my reaction and stuff, because I think that she would get a kick out of it. But you can only send, like, videos that are so long on Messenger, so I might have to cut this video in half and send it to her or something, but eh, either way. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm like, I don't have the money right now for it. It is, it's a pricey product, but like just testing it out, like I will get up close. Don't mind my lips. They're actually not like dry and crusty. They look a little crusty, but um, they're not right now. They just look like it. My skin looks so good. I feel like I never even took my foundation off. My mind is blown. Okay. I'm so sold on this company. And I'm not just saying that because I want to sell it. Like, I'm not even selling it right now. So it's not like I'm trying to get you guys to buy this stuff. But honestly, I already believe in these products. Like, the skincare I've tried. Well, this is technically skincare. It's not makeup. So I don't want to say the makeup I've tried. The skincare that I have tried thus far has been amazing. It's blown my mind. The microdermabrasion paste phenomenal loved it i loved the cleanser i tried this and the microdermabrasion paste are my two favorite things in the entire world right now and i wish i could afford both products right now but i can't but as soon as i get the money you best believe i am going onto the site and i am buying this stuff i will link gina's shop or store or link to the Rodan and Fields if you guys are interested in checking out the products. Whether you buy them or not, you can just look on the website, read about everything, see what all the products are about, and if you're interested, you can buy something. If you're not, you can send friends to the website if you think they would be interested. Maybe your mom, your aunt, your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, I don't know. Somebody will be interested in this. So, I will, if Gina's okay with it, I will link her, like, store or her website below. That way you guys can shop through her or at least check out the products because I think, I think they're phenomenal just from the samples I've tried. I mean, come on now. My face looks amazing. And I had, like, the little bitty a sample and it actually covered my entire face. And my face looks like I have, like, a filter on it and I don't. Okay, I'm done rambling. I'm going to throw this random vlog together. I don't even know how it's going to turn out, but it's going to be a vlog. I might make this actual video, like this last part of the vlog, talking about the Rodan and Field stuff, a completely separate video to send to Gina, because that might be the only way that she can see it, unless she wants to watch my entire vlog, which she may or she may not. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to, um, I don't even want to take this off, but obviously I'm going to before bed. So maybe I'll come back on in a little while and do an actual, like, nighttime routine to end 
the actual vlog and I will see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Got to do the very ending of this vlog slash regular video, whatever this is. Um, I am going to do my nighttime routine. Um, I did just take off that Radiant Defense that I tested out. I wish I didn't have to, but I don't want to sleep with it on. So I'm going to quickly wash my face and come back on here and then do the rest of my stuff with you guys. Now I do just want to disclaim, the very beginning of this video is me sitting down and doing my makeup with you guys. And I was just kind of chatting. In that video I mentioned doing a What's in My Purse video after doing the makeup with you guys video. Um, so I uploaded the purse video and then I'll be uploading this with the makeup video at the beginning of all the vlogs. So just don't be confused. So there's not going to be another purse video coming, at least not for a while. I uploaded that before this. So I'm going to wash my face really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't go in with my confidence in a cleanser tonight. I just went in with my Be Fine Food Skincare. <sighs> Don't ask me why. I keep all my skincare products, like, in the boxes still. I guess just until I get back home, maybe I feel like it's safer in these boxes for cleansing purposes. I don't know. <sighs> I never even took a thumbnail for this video, so I still have to do that. I should have done it while I was, like, when I started the video originally, like when I sat down to do my makeup with you guys. I'm sorry if this ends up being a boring video for you, but I do want to do more vlogs. Um, I love vlogs. Like, my favorite thing to watch besides purse videos are vlogs. I just love watching, like, people's lives. Um, and like what they do and stuff. I just don't have exciting lives like they do. I'm not like out furniture shopping and stuff like that. But maybe once we finally like get our own house and stuff, I can take you guys along in that journey. One day. You know what? I'm just thankful and very grateful for Jeremy's parents that put up with us and let us stay there. It's it's very helpful because being a stay-at-home mom and a first-time mom, like, I mean, I've been going at it for, like, five years now, going on five years now, it's still nice to have that support, like, you know, and Alden loves Jeremy's mom. He, he loves my mom, too. Like, he loves both of his grandmas so much, but, like, since we've been, like, pretty much living here with my mom... He doesn't see Jeremy's mom as often, so he gets, like, super excited to see her. So once we do go back home, he's going to be so happy to be able to, like, see Grandma every day. And we always have so much fun. Like, when she's not having to help my father-in-law, we all go outside. We all play ball together. Like, it's like a big family thing. And it's it will be kind of sad once we get our own house. Just because, like, I mean, they could always come over. We can obviously always go back to their house and visit them. But, like, it's just kind of fun. Like, when my brother-in-law, my mother-in-law, my fiancé, myself, and Alden are all outside. And we're kicking a soccer ball together or throwing a football or playing baseball. And it just kind of takes me back to my childhood when we did all that fun stuff without all the technology we have now. But not having internet at home... Alden's not going to be happy about that because he loves watching his Kindle. We probably are going to invest and get some internet. It's just, you know, it is kind of nice not having it, but it is going to suck for me having to upload videos with no internet because the Wi-Fi makes it so much faster. And when I run out of data on my phone, everything goes much slower. But don't worry, I do still plan to make videos for you guys. I don't intend on stopping. Um... Or anything like that. But before this vlog gets even longer than it is. It's going on like. Almost an hour long. I'm going to end this. Take a quick thumbnail photo of. Me doing something. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Good night. <laughs>